Disclaimer. This video is intended for an audience of 13 plus years old. Parental supervision is advised. <laughs> hey everybody. What's going on everybody? Welcome back. We're back. We haven't done this uh, in a while. A little bit, a little bit. Yeah, I got my uh, Zimbabwe wine. Uh, what we should probably <laughs> do is just go through everything here. Um, we can do individual videos later, but we should probably just do one review here because there's going to be a lot to show. I guess this you way, break it up for them into different parts. Uh, sure. So you'll have a few parts of this fabulousness. Yeah. So we're going to bring all of this goodness to you guys. Yeah. So let's... Uh, Start with the little box. It's definitely jewelry. Sure. What the hell? Oh, I know what this is. It's this. Uh, so... Oh, man, that's a shame. It broke. But I can, I can fix that. I can glue it. Uh, so I went on eBay and I found someone who did these uh, really nice 3D printed heads um, of Rogue. Here, this one's not broken. And uh, it's not painted, I'm gonna paint it myself. But I think you guys can see that. Um, I don't know what 3D material the... It's plastic. Is it? It's like a plastic, it's like plastic. a resin or something? Yeah, like a know. hard plastic. Um, but yeah, I think I think that looks really nice, and I'm planning on doing. Um, I mean, it is pretty badass. What's the difference in the face sculpts? Uh, her face, her lips. She's doing ones like more straight, the other one's smirking. Oh, I see the smirk. Oh, that's awesome. I don't know if it'll translate on camera. So this one is smirking. Just... She has like a little devilish smile. See that on the lip? It's like so small of a notice but it looks so vastly different like it really does you'll be able to see it more when once it's painted but i mean yeah. i got two because he this offered really me a good cool. deal and i'm probably gonna buy more honestly how much did you spend these two heads were 36 together oh that's not that bad yay not bad but uh, I'm, do I'm doing a rogue uh, custom seven. Oh, i love rogue yeah, I'm she. Well, I don't know if you're gonna like this one. It's from Savage Land. So. What does that mean? It means she's pretty much gonna be naked. Ooh, naked rogue. I know. Does, that's what I. That's how I felt. That's I so mean, weird. Does Gambit get to ravage her? No, no. This is my fantasy, so it's. You can be Gambit. Me, not me. And you can never. be Gambit, and I can be Rogue, and then every time I touch you, I'll steal some of your life force. Oh, there you go. Wait. That's already happened. That's marriage. Uh, okay. <laughs> Next. It might be a GI Joe. It's, it's a GI Joe. All right. Vintage GI Joe. It's a swivel arm, so that's later in the 80s. It came out in like 86. Hey! Oh, it says right there, 87 Falcon. There you go. See? I know GI Joe stuff. 100% complete. Is Can we just talk about how amazing my makeup looks today? Is I'm there like, a, it's is absolutely there? flawless. I love it. What do you want? You want to see if there's a knife in there to see if he's complete. Yep, he's complete. All right, so this is the Joe. I believe I paid 26 for that, which is like an amazing deal. He's going for like in between 30. He looks like mint condition too. He's going for between 30 and 40. Uh, the reason I didn't, I, I waited for an auction on this and then the only thing is he didn't come with the file card. The detail on this backpack, that's pretty awesome. This was one of my favorite G.I. Joe's as a kid. Um, I love the movie and I don't know what happened to him. I don't know if I traded him or what, but... Little knifey. He and disappeared. Bow, bow. Yeah. Okay. Oh, from my uh, Star Wars Black Series. I had to get this. I didn't realize I didn't have it and I scored this thing for like seventeen fifty or something like that. Looks like a giant... I made sure I waited because... You know, the figure was going up yeah. in price, and this is uh, don't what kind of Star Wars fan of you. It's from Empire Strikes Back. This is uh, one of the bounty hunters. When uh, when when the guy from the Empire looks up and he's like, Bounty hunters, we don't need that scum. And then I think this is the guy who looks down on it. Where's it? Where's this up? Yes, I don't remember, but uh, for long, <gasps> you got America's ass. Those of you who know, you oh. got, he got America's ass. Woo uh, yeah, so, so this, this is, is pre Captain America that's, outfit. That's uh, like the 1940, I believe this is the one that comes with the motorcycle two pack, uh, Marvel Legends. Um, I got what this, this? Be, uh, for my G.I. Joe Classified Custom. Uh, this is actually gonna turn into a six inch Falcon. So, you're gonna change him? 
Yep, he's getting customized. So Sorry. Not much of a review going on here. There you go. How uh, much did you pay for him? This guy came from China. I think it was like $16. That's the reason I bought it. All right. He had the only body I could find with the with the lower legs, uh, and I think I can fix this, or at least at the very least rip it out. And um, yeah, yeah, I can work with that. Cause you see, like, look at his boots. See the boots? And then look at his boots. Oh, this actually came from Macari. This was a sweet pickup because what is uh, it? Who is it? This is a DC designer series bombshell figure. This is Batgirl. So they take superhero characters and make them look like um, pinups. So that's Batgirl. This also is like a $25 figure. She comes with a lot of accessories, but I only bought... They're the... trying to give her ass cleavage. Yeah, I only bought her and this figure was only 11 bucks. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. She's... I'm not impressed with the ass cleavage. Though. Like You can see like they tried to make butt cheeks, but they're like like the uh you know I'm, I'm kardashian really, butt cheeks like they look fake uh i'm really impressed with that i feel actually. like they need to be like smoothed out if they're gonna be that big mm, like I, I feel I, like I, you I, could do it I, I i i think that that looks really well i think she, you're supposed to be posing her with a bat and she's like why does she need a bat that's harley quinn's thing because she's dressed as a baseball player oh yeah a so, league of their own. Uh, she's gonna be on say. your shelf, something like that, you know, with the bat and everything, and I think, you know, you can do that if you want. Or, you know, you, of course she would have snapped her neck at that point, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> That's what matters. That's what matters. Uh, custom. Custom. I was, I want them to look over the body, because I can always resell this if I don't actually use it, for, um, Rachel, Blade Runner. Nice. So that's what that is. Are you guys enjoying our speed run of stuff? We have 35 subscribers. So, here's to you guys. Thanks guys for letting me be so annoying to you. Somebody, I know all 35 of you. Somebody cares about what I'm saying, apparently. It's not you. It's me harassing all of my friends to like oh, you. Oh, I thought they were here for your boobs. Alrighty, we've got... Oh, this is a Macari a... purchase. Oh. That was a super sweet deal. Like... An insane deal, like sick. This, right. I, this I is coming up for a project. Okay, so we've got one Royal Guard from the Imperial Black series for Star Wars. I love real cloth figures. Ooh, I love the body underneath. Okay, so with the cloth, it's pretty, you know, Handmaid's Tale meets Star Wars. Not bad, but flip this over and check this out. He's got like some serious cool stuff happening here and the details on him is actually like really nice. Like, look at this. We've got Palpatine. Yes, and not much going on. Let's just be careful with the claw. Yes, you're going to be using it for something else. Look. No, I'm keeping it. He's got ball sack head, which is, you know, like the movie, right? You have to, you have to focus. You think I'm doing? Ball sack brain, there you go. But he also got hair, which is like kind of confusing as to why he needs hair because he's a ball sack. But anyway, um, he actually comes with two other heads. Oh, he does. Yep, all his, ball sacks. His cane, the hands with uh, lightning in there. You guys can see there's two extra heads. Uh, so he is wearing uh, this jacket, which is removable, which is kind of nice because uh, he actually has like this uh, like samurai type outfit happening and he has a skirt but if you lift the skirt he actually has detailed um, legs which is really nice and the boots are badass. I don't know are, you, are you gonna recustom this? I'm gonna see if I can rip this apart but this is his uh, chair. Oh nice. And he sits in the chair. It's good, it's highly detailed, it's got buttons and, and all that stuff in there. Um, I would love to put LED lights in, in the chair. I'm pretty sure you can figure out how to do that. Um, oh, and it uh, twists. It wasn't me! I mean, it didn't break, it comes out. But uh, anyway, this, three figures, this is the Amazon exclusive. 
This is going for like 130 now, which I don't even I don't know when this thing took off the way it did because I remember I was like, oh, I'll get it later. It's like $39. Palpatine came out in the, the third one, the new one? No, it's because it's an Amazon exclusive and it comes with the chair. And so this was originally $39, sold out on Amazon. And then uh, it took a long time. It took like six months for this thing to go out of stock. And then all of a sudden, you know, 120, 130, 140. Uh, pick this up for 110 The whole box or Shit. just him? The whole box, all Ooh. three. So I figure I'll sell the soldiers. Mm -hmm. I gotta be able to get at least 25 of them. Wow, he comes with lightning hands. So basically, you know, if I get more than 25, that's great. Um, so he he comes with two heads, so which is great. He comes with a walking stick. Not bad. But what's really cool is that he comes with his force lightning. You already spoke about that. Yeah, but I wasn't listening to you. Again, scored an awesome deal. Wait till you guys see what this is. Okay. This was a sick deal. In my opinion, I think it's a sick deal. Wait, was there nothing in that one? Nothing in that one. <gasps> it's Alien. The original Alien. I, I think I got this figure in a previous uh, video. But I had already sold it. Um, you didn't get him. I did. I got Dallas. You didn't tell me about that. Yep, we were on the video together. No, we got her. We got, we got both. And then we got the other two guys. Yeah, we got every. We got a lot of people. Yeah. yeah. These are really nice. Are these NECA? Yes. Nice. I called it. See, I know, because NECA does that heavy thing I like in a toy, and these are like really heavy. I don't like her face. Some more customs that need to take place. Um, she looks just like the uh, movie. Like that. She looks just like the movie. And the details on this are crazy. But I don't particularly... Like, it looks like Ripley. Um, but there's just something off about the face. Maybe we'll because see. the hair is a little flat. Or maybe just like the jawline on her is off-putting. She has like a very defined jaw. So I feel like maybe like if the jaw was a little bit more sculpted, it would look a little bit more like her. They're reissuing uh, that figure with a new face sculpt, so maybe it's gonna be better, but okay. um, maybe that's why I got this so cheap. But um, yeah, she also comes with a helmet and she's the, um, I wasn't going to get these because I'm really not a fan of the spacesuit look. But, I mean, I can't. I don't know why this is giving me a problem here. Oh. Right. Yeah. Uh, I'm curious what this is going to look like. Because mm -hmm. we covered that in the last one. You got to pop the head off in order to get the uh, Cosmonaut tag on. I really, really dig that. But see, like, in the movie, the heads actually, like, fit better in the uh, space helmet. I needed her, but something's coming. And uh, I needed these. I wasn't going to go there. Right. I wasn't... Did you buy the Nostromo? There is no <gasps> Nostromo. What do you mean there's no Nostromo? This is a 7-inch figure. Well, with the helmet on, she's, like, 8 inches. Somebody big... built, like, a 42-inch starship. You can make this work. No. Nobody built up 42 in this room. Wait, not yet, but you could. No, I couldn't. Oh, you're so good. All right. I mean, honestly, I probably could, but I, yeah, I'm not doing it. Oh, more NECA. Uh, I was there when he bought this, in all fairness, and I, like, freaked out. He was debating in Target whether or not he should pick it up, and I was like, you're definitely picking him up. Found it. Because you guys uh, remember we talked about it in the last video. Found it toy hunting together in Staten Island yep. underneath the shelf. And there's something really cool that they did with him uh, that you guys just have to see. So normally like the other toys that we've been um, showing you, their heads come off, right? Um, but with him, you get to keep his head on. It's his face that pops off which I've never seen done in a toy before. Also, how very ET-esque is this? So you get different faces instead of different heads, and I absolutely love that. Um, so he comes with four faces in total. The original one, which is this one. Love it. 
Then he's got one where he's like sad. The Christmas one. And last but not least, the laughing one, which I love. And then he also comes with Santa's hat. I don't know what trumpet. I think it's a trumpet. It's a trumpet. And then this hanger looking thing. And then there's the pencil in glue and a candy cane. So just for me, I'm gonna do the Christmas face. I'm going to figure out how to, oh, okay. So the Christmas face has this um, tinsel thing in the back. So you actually have to be careful. You have to like lift it gently because it's actually kind of thin in order to put it on his head. I think that's a uh, Rambo. Is it Rambo? Then why does it come with the, um... oh, you know what? You're right. It is the Rambo face. Sorry guys, I messed that up. Um, but yeah. Make sure we're putting it in the right hole. It's upside down, I think, no? No, it's his face. Okay. There you go. Like that? I think I did that right. Okay, and then this goes down here. So, he is Rambo. What is this? Remove to enable function. Does he talk? No. The eyes move. Oh, oh my god, the eyes move. <laughs> I didn't know. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Shut up. <laughs> I'm having a nerd moment. Okay. What, what will they think of next? His little eyeball move. Oh my god. It's so cute. It's so cute. Alright, and he could be a fan if he wants. This way. This way. Where does it go? This way. And now he's drunk Santa. <laughs> yeah, I think it could be tightened up, but yeah, I mean, they get the point. I love this. I don't even know how much you paid for it, but it was 100% worth it. I'm so happy that I told you to buy this. I'm obsessed. I love him. I He's mean, this was $30 in the store when it first came out, and uh, so you guys can see. This was $30 also. So I feel like they should have lowered the price. Even with the accessories, this should have been... 22 24 I think it was totally worth it, but I'm biased because I think it's such a Meanwhile, great the character. Creep, He's so cute. The creep show figure was $24.99, so I mean, I don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. And I love the fact that they made the face removable instead of the head because it gives you options. Like with these, they'll give you two or three heads, but you got to pop the head off and then it's like different things. Him, you just got to take the face off and you get to keep the head. So I feel like it's more customizable like that, where here you have to have heads, there you just need faces. Next up, we have a Masters of the Universe Funko Pop Pez. Honestly, I... What is this? So how does this work? What do you do with it? So like you put the candy in. Yeah, you put the candy in. Okay. You stack it. All right. And then you put the head down. That's what she said. And then, uh, and then you what? push the head back and then it comes out. And then uh, you can do that or you, you know, we used to just eat it. You just, you pop it. Yeah, but if you're wearing a full face of makeup, I don't think I want my face on his. Well, I taste think like? they assumed that you were a kid and not that you'd be having a full face so far. What does it taste like? It tastes like, uh, whatever, not, not now and later, it tastes like, it tastes like sugar, like hardened powdered sugar. Oh, like tarts. <laughs> like tarts. And so that's Pez from the 80s. Well, this is from the 90s. It's a really interesting taste. This apparently is a rare one. This was, uh, I can't even believe they do stuff like this. I mean, like, they're doing, they're milking this stuff for... <laughs> 2020 Spring Convention Limited Edition Exclusive. Not that exclusive, nobody wanted it. On clearance for two bucks. And I was online at GameStop, I bought it. It's definitely an interesting taste. And then afterwards I'll put it on the shelf of my email stuff. I mean, I've had worse things in my mouth, but that's pretty interesting. I'm sure you have. These are from Hasbro Plus. I don't like supporting Hasbro Plus, but... Um, What's Hasbro Plus? It's a Hasbro specific website. Got it. And uh, so we have Princess Leia in Endor gear. This was a pre-order. Somehow, some way, I got a pre-order on it. 
And then we got Jedi Luke. Um, all of these helmets come off, and so do the clothes. So under there, he's Jedi Luke. And uh, then we have Endor Han. And the face coat looks really good on that one. And he's got his coat. Blaster. Sexy. Blade Runner. Han Solo. Alright. Price tag. Hasbro Pulse, $19.99. So, Each. 60 Yeah. Plus shipping. Plus shipping. Why do you want them? Because... Because Star Wars. What do you mean? Plus it's their, I mean, it's Return of the Jedi. I don't have these, I needed them. But we have... No, those are all different scenes of the movie. I know, but why this Endor? I need, I, because it goes with the Ewok. What do you mean? This is what they're doing. They're doing Endor. I, I, I don't... The only one I don't really have that represented is uh, Star Wars, because I don't like Farm Boy Luke. Got it. Yeah, but everything after that... That's I'm, Tatooine Luke. I'm pretty... I'm pretty... Tatooine. They call him Farm Boy. Why Farm Boy? It's Tatooine. I think because he's on a farm. Might have something to do with it. Yeah, but you got farms on any planet. It's Tatooine. Okay, next. Don't next me. I will go at my pace. Dang it. Alright, here's one more. I got like, I got four more down there. No, no, I meant the last Star Wars one. Oh. Yeah. So, I'm, if you don't notice, I'm, I'm pulling them out in a specific order. Got it. Uh, so we got um, the Archive series, found this. Yeah, Hoth. Uh, that's Luke Skywalker from Hoth. Um, is he battle damaged? No. Uh, this is before he has to kill his This is uh, before he gets beat off by no. the snowman. Yeah. Snow and, monster? Uh, the figure was a release like back in 2015, but they did like a new face sculpt and I and I Kept finding this thing in Target and the face sculpts were messed up, but this one looked really nice. So I grabbed this one Really dig it. I do have Han Solo from Hoth, so And Leia, so I think that's I think that's pretty much complete, right? Was there anybody else from Hoth? No, no No Oh, uh, Fish Guy. Fish Guy was in Hoth. Nope. He's not. He's in that movie, but he's not, he's not from Hoth. I think they were talking to him while they were on Hoth, right? There was like a sh I think that they were talking to him. He was in the, the ship in the cosmos. Maybe. Maybe. That, that also might have not happened. I don't know if that's in the original movie or if that's part of the special... Edition? Yeah. Shit. So here we have a Comic-Con 09 exclusive Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, April O'Neil, but she's not... She doesn't have any of her, um, accessories in here. Yeah, so SDCC 2009, um, April O'Neil from NECA. This is the comic book version of April O'Neil. Do you want to take it out? Um, if you want to. Alright, so she this is, is already open. She is missing the mousers. You say she's missing her accessories, and then you say it's already open like you're surprised. No, the way that they open it, they, they like crack this thing open in the back and then shoved it in. So it's just it's an interesting way of opening this. This is from the original comic book. That's what the bubbles look like in the comics. You can see she's supposed to come with two mousers, but that's what's missing in the package. But she's I, built I, really nice. I would be really careful with that. And we were just watching the cartoon the other day, and I was like, she's built, built and I forced, as a chick. And I forced you to watch. I was like, I'm not in the mood for turtles, so she's, I put it on like the next day. She has bigger boobs than I thought, I remember. Like, yeah, because I was like, she's really stacked. She's, like, she's, like, re she's ready like to feed an chick, army. That redheaded chick from. Um... Yeah, with the milk video? No. What were you going to say? Sorry. <laughs> I always. Speak... From Mad Men. She was. Oh, the, yeah. Mad yeah. yeah. girl she's... with the red hair. Her, oh, yeah. her tits are out to here. Did you see the guy she's married to? Lucky bastard. Are you doing your mama thing in your head? No. <laughs> He's doing. Every time he sees jugs that big, he goes. Mama. That's mama. Not, that's not true. I don't do that. 
every time. And then I'm like, we're in public. Darn. <laughs> Her face is kind of scary looking though. I'm gonna say that. Like I think she looks hot. I think her boobs look great, and I'm really... Her body's fantastic, but I feel like her face is, like, This, again, horrible. is another, like, $180 figure now. Um, like I said, this is from, like, six months ago, I think. So, not six months, but, like, maybe... So she can move her torso, but she can't go up and down. She's got, um... We're in February. I bought this in, like, August. Oh, wow. Cool. How much? This was $55, 58 I mean, without the accessories, from maybe. eBay. Yeah, like without the accessories, like I get it. I just feel like her face. Like... The price dropped. It was selling for sixty, seventy again, like and it. then all of a sudden, she looks like one of those like um, des not desperate, but the other ones, the uh, like Real Housewives chicks. She looks great. I love this uh, figure. She's got a really nice butt tail. I'm like, I I really wanted this because I've never seen Neca do a uh, sexy female. And I mean, I'm like, I'm shocked by her face color. So very uh, '90s with the lipstick and makeup, with yeah, the black lip liner. I hate that. Big lips, big boobs. I wish they would have made more progressive choices. So, all right, what, what do you got there? <laughs> Which one do you want to open? Because they uh, they both have one of the same. We're not gonna open anything. We're just gonna show it off. Okay. All right. So here we have Splinter and Baxter. So this is actually uh, the second time I'm seeing Baxter. The first time was when we were watching the cartoon. I had no idea about him, but this is that cartoony version that Matthew likes. Not my favorite. Um, not my favorite. He likes the cartoon version. I think it's very cheesy. Splinter actually looks badass in here, so I wish we did open him. I love the cartoon version because I love the fly the original movie I love that tragic story I love really tragic stories so I do like the fact that they come with uh, there's a book in here and it's got Leonardo Michelangelo Donatello Raphael but it's got the artist's face in it which is really really cute so it's a nice little ode to the actual turtles the uh, shredder it, he's like, trying to gain shredders affection throughout the show and and be capable and he keeps screwing up because he's trying to do hard, and then he gets thrown into Dimension X by Shredder. And then Krang is like, yeah, 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 we'll, we'll, I'll take care of him. And then throws him into a machine to disintegrate him. And then the fly goes in there and it backfires, and then he's stuck like this permanently for the yep. rest of his life. And uh, he breaks out and he swears revenge. He's like, so. you remember that movie The Fly? And I was like, yeah, Jeff Goldblum, awesome guy, you know, movie still freaked me out to this day. I was like, customize. oh. I love that movie, I gotta customize. No, you were grossed out. You were like making faces, as like, you didn't like that movie at all. No, it was a horrible movie, but Jeff Goldblum was a sexy man. That's not a horrible movie, that was a fantastic movie. No, no, I and meant like the whole like him transforming and his like his skin and his hands and the things and on his face. And by the way, like, this, this looks like a young uh, Gina Davis, because Gina Davis is stacked. In that movie. You know what she looks like? Stacked. She doesn't She's look like, like 19. No. She no. looks like. She might be 17. No. She looks like Electra from the 007 movie. Bad man. She looks what? like Electra from the 007 movie. Who's Electra? Electra Kane from the 007 movie. Don't worry. He's about to show you a little. Uh, she looks like Electra Kane. Who's that? She uh, was the one who uh, got kidnapped with the ear that was that came off and she tried to seduce him and he shot her in the bed. And the guy uh, with the submarine, remember? They were in like uh, a thing. He went to the Russian guy. Denise Richards was in this one. I don't watch anything with Denise Richards. Okay, nobody actually watches Denise Richards. They just want to watch her run. I don't, I don't think she's hot either. Whatever, Electric Game was hot in this movie. The one with the pipeline. Oh yeah. You have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. That's fine. Um, but he's gonna show you a side by side. She looks just like Electric Kane. I wish I had my phone. I'd pull it up and show him and show you guys. But you're gonna see it once you pull it up. Okay, I'll the see same it. And then, okay. last but not least, from the pile on the floor, we've got Splinter and Shredder. But this looks like found at the Finger Lakes on the first night that we arrived when we went for vacation <laughs> with Mark and Stacy. His, in Walmart. His twin brother and my sister-in-law. The set was like going for like a hundred dollars online. There was like three uh, 
I will say. There was four of these and Casey with Raphael to buy. This is definitely like my favorite. Just, I want you, I don't know if you can see it because he won't let me take the plastic off, but these sculpts from, these are NECA, right? Yeah. Are like absolutely amazing. No, I mean. And like I I have like a really deep appreciation for NECA's like real uh, sculpts. Not the, the cheesy cartoony versions, but like their real sculpts to me are like so impressive. It's just bizarre. Like that there's somebody sitting there and making this look like this. Like I wish you worked for NECA to do this. Me too. That'd be great. That would be. That would be phenomenal if you can get a job at NECA. Hire me, Randy. Let's open it up. There's Shredder, which looks absolutely dope. Uh, Iroko Saki. Is that his name or is that Splinter's master's name? I forget. No, his, Splinter's master's name is Yoshi. Okay. Um, I knew that. You can see he's got uh, claws and the detail is absolutely stunning. They even got the, the glitter from the costume, right? Um, haven't seen this in like a year, so we should probably watch this, especially since we just watched... I made her watch the first seven episodes of the cartoon the other day. And then I fell asleep. And, uh, just amazing. Uh, and then we got the coat, yep, which has wire in it. Um, so if I remember correctly, it go, these don't come up, so how do you, probably just put it underneath the helmet, the way the helmet is, um, Positioned, I think we could probably get away with just yeah using the head to. I mean, you guys get the idea. I mean, that looks dope, though. <laughs> I love Shredder. We know you like that one. It had a name. <laughs> you lie. Do I? Oh. Wait a minute. And then, uh, <laughs> and then he comes with the spear that he tries to kill Splinter with. It's great. Uh, this, I believe, yeah, this is actually, I was going to say it's Splinter's, but it's not. It's uh, Shredder's. It's um, the sheath and the knife. Remember when he's hanging off the side of the building, he pulls it from his back pocket and tries to kill Splinter. That didn't work out too well for Shredder. <laughs> um, and then we get two sets of hands here. Uh, so we got these hands. Don't it be like the spear holding hand? Mm -hmm. The amount of detail that they put into him, it's amazing. And that's just like from his face, his hands, and his uh, feet. Not including the um, robe, but I mean... Do you see them? That is amazing. His hands. Well feet, but they also did an amazing job on his tail. And then the robe, you can see like it's dirty at certain ends. Cause he lives in a sewer with a bunch of teenage turtles. But I mean, like, they just did an incredible job. Like, look at this face. Amazing. I'm obsessed with this sculpt. And he comes with the two hands that are actually on him, right? But he also Does comes- Does the tail have a wire in it? It should. No, it's hard plastic. All right, there are- It's got a wire. Does it? Okay. Oh, they're they're out of the packaging, so I don't want to like do anything. He comes with six additional hands, which is just amazing that they gave him so many options. Um, he's got two pointy fingers when he tells off the turtles. You um, put your hand in so that detail. Oh, that's amazing. Oh. Then he has two fists. And then 
he's got two okay hands like the okay symbol i know like that's like been up for debate whether that's like politically correct but in this term from that reference in the 80s and 90s it's the okay i think splinter's supposed to be doing buddha the right. namaste right but <clears throat> kids today don't know what that is he also comes with nunchucks but like those are uh, those should be the same exact ones that come with the Michelangelo figure because those are Michelangelo. They're similar, but Michelangelo's are a little bit different. He also comes with get I this. I don't have Michelangelo. Huh? Slippers. He got his own slippers, and he's got a little hole in the tip because you can see that he's got them from the trash. He also comes with a slice of pizza, pepperoni, no anchovies for the splinter, and, and um. He comes with radioactive material, which I thought was like such a cute homage to like how they became this way. It actually says it right there. Um, it's nuclear waste. Or it's whatever. nuclear waste, but it's what causes what's their really cool. What's really cool is that you can open the tip. They didn't put anything like green in there, which they should have, like a, like a green color to like make it look like the cartoon in the movie. But I don't know why it's green. It's a. Uh, it, no, in the in the movie it's pink. It's me. It's like neon pink. It's green. No, you I know. Sure? I know you think that. It's a secret of the ooze. They changed it to green in the first movie. Mm -hmm. It's actually pink. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, which I like I remember the, that it was green. I like the pink more. Wait, 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 wait. Actually, you know what? I'm thinking about the cartoon. I'm thinking about the cartoon. We just saw the cartoon the other day. Right, and what and color was it? It's pink. It was green. No. I guess he's going to show you in a second anyway because he's going to do research on well, it. Yeah, because you, you, we went through this with the <laughs> eyes of Catwoman that you said were like... Green. Green. But they were blue. And her eyes are blue. They but, look green! Alright, well... Each his own. I just noticed. Alright, maybe I suffer from a bit of color blindness. Okay? I just noticed Don't this. Uh, Shredder's feet? Look at the split in the toe. I just noticed that. Well, they're supposed to have a split in the toe. Yeah, I just... Man, the amount of detail that went into this figure. Um, pretty pretty crazy. And then for some reason, um, I don't know if this is better for the figure, but this is extremely rare. A male figure. Um, and this leg, this piece goes into this thigh. But then they attached a peg to it. So this knee bends, but I'm a little nervous about... I mean, I don't know. I should probably heat that up first. This was, uh, it was Walmart, right? So I think they're cheaper than the Target one. So this might have been $49.99. Nice. Or it was $42.99. One of those, I forget. Even if you paid 50 bucks for this, I would totally been for it because, I mean... We basically paid 50 bucks. We found this, we found this Ripley was, in compression I mean, suit, the pop. This is just like... Phenomenal! Like NECA really outdid themselves with this one. We found a lot of stuff over there. We found we did. the NECA Krang. We found. Uh, I mean, it's a college NECA... town. We were up by where? Um... Nobody shops. We went to every Target. We went to every single day. Walmart. We went to every single day. We found everything that you cannot find. So here. like nobody yeah. is over there. Yeah. Too bad. I mean, we so got he it. was like, "Why don't we move up here?" It's like five hours away from where we are in Brooklyn. So. Yeah. I mean, I would be up there every day if I... I mean, if we lived out there, it wouldn't be that bad, right? It's beautiful. It yeah, no, it's absolutely nice. beautiful up there. I like it. Um, There's wine what's for you. your favorite? Toys for me. I think this is my favorite. I think, I think Shredder's my favorite. All right, so I know you usually do this because it's like your thing because you can't decide, but today I'm going to pull a Matthew. I can't decide, which I'm, I love more. She would never kiss him. She hates him. Um, Save me from those ugly turtles. Shredder. Don't call me Shredder. Call me Steve. That's my real name. You're 40. Stop playing with <laughs> dolls. Good. Express your thoughts. Thank you're, you. You're speaking now, Kamala. Kamala. Yeah. It's Kamala. Yes. I agree. Not Kamala. I agree. You're always right. Actually. And you guys... I think he's funny, but the second I saw that, I went on Etsy. Literally the second the she saw second that. The second I saw that, I was like, absolutely, because everyone's always telling me to shut up. Excuse me, I'm speaking. I cannot wait to wear this at a family function, have them lose their minds. Um, you know it really meant something, because two seconds after it was said, 
it was on Etsy, so for sale. That's right. So I can't decide which one is my favorite today, so I'm gonna say both are at a tie for me. His sculpt design and the amount of accessories that came with him is just phenomenal, but I'm like a Splinter. huge Giz fan. And I love the fact that they changed the face plates instead of the heads. And he's got veins in the back of his ears. Yeah, like he is just incredible. You know, like him and the Ewoks, like they're made basically the same way. But I mean, like these two today are my favorite. I'm kind of leaning towards him though. I like Splinter, Splinter's cool. Yeah, I mean, like he definitely gets his due because of the way that they thought about this toy and like the way that they made him. Um, but like, I'm obsessed with this sculpt. And I'm not like really big on expressing myself when it comes to like sculpts because I'm not really impressed by many of these sculpts. You know, like, seen it. Seen it. Seen it. Just because you saw people doesn't mean it's not cool. Ball sack. So, um, I He's will say He's supposed to look like a ball sack. I will say this. He looks um, like my left ball sack. Your ball sacks look better. Um, that's not the point. You but, would know. Hi <laughs> five. If you keep being mean to me, I won't see your ball sacks anymore. Um, the 3D printed version of Row was pretty incredible. I can't wait to see you customize that's that. That's gonna look better once it's painted. Yeah, but I mean like, in and of itself, the fact that like they made the hair that way. Yeah, but he's very talented. Ta I'll put amazing. a link to uh, him in the description. In case you're interested in picking one up. Um, his sculpt today for me is like just out of this world. Yeah, he looks good. He looks amazing. Um, amazing. <laughs> Are you checking out his junk? I was trying to see if he had any junk, but no, he doesn't. <laughs> not anatomically correct. Because rats have really giant testicles. Like, humongous testicles. Like, I know you're jealous of their testicles, but they're huge. Yep. So that's all we got on today's little show. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Definitely tell us which one was your favorite today. And uh, we can't wait to see you guys soon. <laughs> yep. See you later, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe. And uh, <laughs> stay, stay classy. San Diego.